Alright guys, what is up? I hope you guys are fine and all dandy wherever you are in the world. Uh, Pokemon TCG Live has now officially just uh, updated and Temporal Forces are, are rolling. Alright, so we went ahead and bought the Battle Pass and I went to... I'm so excited about Temporal Forces that I went ahead and got um, the, the option to unlock the Battle Pass where it takes me... It opens all the way to level 15. So... We're going to go on ahead and claim the Battle Pass rewards right now. There we go. Raging Bolt. Uh, May 2024 ladder reward. This is the, I think this is a sleeve or whatever. Uh, trucker hat. I don't know why we get two trucker hats for that. We got a Squawkabilly EX right over there. A Mew EX over there. And um, a Sandy Shocks EX. Okay. Uh, we got the SIR um, Iron Hands EX. That is pretty cool. Um, what else did we get? We get the Iron Valiant EX SIR. Uh, will we get Roaring Moon? No, we do not get Roaring Moon. Now, this is the new Maridon, uh, future Maridon. Um, yeah, nothing EX or anything. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. We got a Raging Bolt EX. I'm going to have to take a screenshot of this and show this to my buddies over in our group chat. So, I am... I'm sending them as they come. Oh, man, this is pretty cool. Um, oh, we got the Iron Crown EX. Alrighty, let's go. Let's go. Oh, man, that artwork. I wish I, I, I really hope I pulled this card on pre release. Now, I know a lot of people have already done their pre release. We're still about to get our pre release here in Dubai because of some, some challenges or concerns. Uh, there's the new Iron Thorns over here. That's pretty cool. Uh, a new Iron Valiant as well a uh, basic one uh and we got an, another iron crown ex this is the standard iron crown ex earlier we got the sir one uh for free so i'm i'm really excited for these cards right over here we got ourselves an electric generator some nest balls a penny professor's research boss's orders ionos super rods pretty cool energy sticker future booster energy capsule professor seda's vitality tech the radar cipher main it's code breaking search your deck for two cards shuffle your deck then put those two cards on the top of it. oh my gosh that's pretty yo you could ah oh man you could play this card play the uh electric uh, generators and then just guarantee yourselves yourself too ah oh, that's why people have been talking about how broken this is all right all right that's pretty cool that's that's really amazing prime catcher this is an a spec card switch one of your opponent's bench pokemon to the active spot if you do switch your act so it's basically a single card cross switcher of course you can only have one copy of this card in your deck so that's that's pretty neat um if you have you know if you have what it takes to win the game you go ahead and use it uh we've got reboot pod which attaches a basic energy from your discard pile to each of your future pokemon yo that is crazy that is crazy um cypher maniacs code breaking oh this is the uh, yeah this is i think the full art uh this might be the full art i don't know if there's an sir or yeah of this card i think that's the full art we got ourselves some switch cards a lost vacuum uh, 59 <laughs> electric energies 59 psychic energies and there we go ladies and gentlemen here we go 34 packs of temporal forces gonna take a quick screenshot of that to show to the homies and i will be going ahead and let's let's open these let's let's see what the pull rates are um for 34 packs um of course i don't know if um online packs reflect the pull rates of real life packs but yeah um let's go all right first pack kind of a uh, you know all these cards are pretty good once you open them in real life if you're into collecting sets um i'm i'm not into master setting but i am into like i just want to collect the first like if if a set says there's 162 cards in a the set then i just want to collect all 162 cards um and then everything else is a bonus if i get it. hey there we go we got our first roaring moon um uh, uh, that's usually being used right now with the ancient box build that is pretty dope that we got ourselves one copy of that we already have four though so that's that's pretty 
that's pretty good. Uh, all of this is just going to go into crystals that we can use to get um, uh, uh, single cards here in the game. Relicanth, pretty cool card in a pre-release if you do get this in the pre-release because it allows you to use the move of a Pokemon. For example, you play a Pokemon that evolved, you can use the attack of its previous form. So that's pretty useful. Uh, that's pretty neat. Rare, kill us, and an Iron Thorns. Okay, three packs in and not, not an EX, not nothing too crazy um rescue board that's pretty good um yes that is good Ooh, we got ourselves our first um a spec that we pulled not an a spec that we were given so neo uh upper energy which is if i can read this as long as this card is attached to a pokemon it provides colorless energy i think and if this card is attached to a stage two pokemon this card provides every energy type but provides only two energy at a time okay that's cool so um you will need this card to an evolved Pokemon, and it it, it, it will play to um, whatever energy it needs. So if, if for example, you evolved a Charizard and you didn't have fire energy in your deck, then you can play this, put this on your Charizard, and it will, um, yeah, like, I don't know what decks are usually stage two, like Serena, a Charizard, um, I don't know what else are stage two decks that, but like, that could possibly, like, use this. I mean, I can see this kind of being useful with your Garchomp EX if you're going for that snipe, but yeah. Anyway, let's go. That's technically our first hit. We also got a Coridon. That's also very useful in the Ancient Box. Let's go. 30 more packs and still no hits from all our online packs. Of course, I don't think that uh, the online packs do reflect uh, the hit rates, the possible hit rates that you would get with real po world packs. But I am hoping that we get something crazy. Ooh, that is a beautiful reverse hollow of Coridon, a new ancient Coridon. Um, and <laughs> yeah, I'm a little bit salty right now because man, we are we are six packs in and still no hits with our online packs. But that's all right, that's fine. Um, I'm okay, I'm okay. All right, another fl uh, a flutter main, an ancient flutter main that is going to be part of the ancient box in the future. Pretty excited to just make a deck a future uh, an ancient box deck here on pokemon tcg live and seeing how it actually works i'll probably do that after i open up oh ooh, ooh, i just breezed through that a spec uh but that was i think the the belt card where it, it it allows you to deal 50 damage to ex pokemon so that's pretty much a big deal if you're trying to hit those one hit ko's let's say for example a charizard ex normally does only uh 180 when uh, you know uh, until the opponent takes more price cards so if you're ever you're up against a pokemon a, a deck like um maridon uh where i think uh uh, Iron Hands has the highest HP in that line, which is 230, Maraidon EX with 220, Raikou and Raichu with 200. So you would need to like wait for them to knock out a Pokemon before you can you can knock out like a Maraidon or a uh, Iron Hands. But with that belt, you can knock them out right away because 180 plus 50 is 230. So that saves you a little bit of time uh, and you don't really have to wait until you get yourself one knockout for yourself. Uh, I've breezed through that the Dunsparce and I do know that that is a little bit of a useful card as well moving forward into this format. Now we do have Mist Energy here. It says as long as this card is attached to Pokemon, it provides colorless energy. Prevent all effects of Pokemon, you, uh, all effects of attacks used by opponent's Pokemon done to this Pokemon. Uh, Oh man, oh my gosh, existing effects are not removed. Okay, so it doesn't remove poison, it doesn't remove confusion, it does not cure status. But however, if you do play this card, it's just amazing because basically if you're playing against a Roaring Moon, which is known for its French and Gouging attack, which allows it one hit KO, if the, your Pokemon has this energy onto it, it is not affected by those cards. So it's basically like it's 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 a hard counter towards Roaring Moon EX as well as Giratina V Star. Oh man, that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, and it's a, it's it's also a counter. <laughs> it's also a very strong counter against uh like uh, Cloth if Cloth that can even still run properly now because it loses a lot of cards that are important to how it it how it worked. Uh, mean like um, Battle VIP Pass, Escape Rope, as well as uh, Spicy Curry, I think. So, oh, we got 
Oh, we got a hit, and it is an SIR Iron Leaves. Let's go, SIR Iron Leaves EX. Let's go. Kind of sad. So there you go, guys. It, like, it, if you think about it, we opened almost um, almost eight, eight or seven kit uh, packs, and and all we have to show for. And yo, double hitter. Yo, I wish this was the case. I wish this will be the same case for real per world packs. I have I have heard some content creators that say two hits is possible. And I have heard one content creator say two hits is no longer possible. Well, the online packs just showed us that two hits is possible. So we got ourselves a full art Salvatore trainer as well as uh, an SIR. So uh, real world packs. Well, anyway, I'm excited to go to the pre-release and see what can happen. I'm, I'm, I'm sure someone will experience something like this. Alrighty, so that was, ooh, that was actually more than eight packs already. That was, that was, so we started with 34. So this is already, that was pack number 23. So that was our 11th pack before we actually got something good. Well, uh, it is what it is, guys. Uh, you're never really guaranteed anything. This is basically a gotcha game. <laughs> All right, pack number 21. Let's go. Let's open this up. Or this is pack. Ooh, we got another reboot pod. However, this is going to be turned to crystals because you can only really have one A spec card, one copy of an A spec card in this game. Same with Radiant cards, actually. Okay, now this is pack number 20. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Give. Oh, there, there's the dunce parts again. There's a Sableye and a Hollow Whimsica. Pack number 19, Snom Hunter. Full metal lab Ooh, that's cool reminds me of the anime full metal alchemist arbok and another whimsicott yo yo where are my hits where are my hits oh hand trimmer there you go each player discards their can their uh their cards from their hand until they have five cards in their hand your opponent discards first Ooh, oh but if a player has five they, they uh, they do not discard. Ooh, this is going to be a painful card for, for decks that like to draw. Oh, man, that is that is a nasty card. That is a nasty card. I can see this card being played with Snorlax Tall, with Eerie. Oh, that's going to be a nasty card. Oh, man. All righty. Okay, Salvatore. Search your deck for a card that has no abilities and evolves from one of your Pokemon and put it in that Pokemon to evolve it. Then shuffle your deck. Use this card on a Pokemon down. Oh my gosh! All right, so this is this is pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I don't know what this would be useful on. I mean, it would be great if you could use it on a B barrel, but the B barrel has an ability. Uh, maybe a, a a Pokemon that has an attack. Like if you go turn two and you can use this card, maybe a Pokemon that evolves and allows you to draw. Maybe, uh, maybe uh, I was thinking Metang, but no, that's an ability. Anyway, I I don't know. Let, let's let's look online and see what Salvatore could possibly be used for. Um, yes. So going on, and we got another Mist Energy, and we got ourselves a Gouging Fire EX. There you go. Oh man, that is that is a nice card. That is a uh, well. I'm um, I'm a little bit on the fence about how they treated uh, Entei. We had we had a gut feeling that he was gonna be like a, a Triceratops or something, but this is not a Triceratops. This is a this is like a different species that is that is kind of like a Triceratops. But anyway, yeah, that it is what it is. All right, Roselia. Solosis, Sableye, Full Metal Lab. What does this do? Metal Pokemon, both yours and opponents, takes 30 less damage from attacks of uh, opponents' Pokemon. All right. Okay. 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 I see. I see the love for Metal. And, and we had the Minchino, which is a really, really good attacker now for the Lugia deck. Ah, oh, man. Okay, here we go. Heavy Baton. If the Pokemon this card attached has, has a retreat cause of exactly four in the active spot and it is knocked out by damage from an attack of your opponent's Pokemon, move up three energy from that Pokemon to your bench Pokemon anywhere you like. All right, kind of feels like this was made specifically for Iron Hands now, <laughs> or any Pokemon that has four retreat cost. That's pretty nifty. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't know who would benefit from that the most, but we'll we'll find a way. We'll we'll look for something. <laughs> All right, sorry that this this is taking too long as I'm commenting and reacting to the cards that I 
pulls so far we haven't pulled too many hits and that is a little bit scary <laughs> i hope this is not the this won't be a reflection of what's what's gonna happen to me on my pre-release i remember paradox riff when it came out uh out of the four packs on my pre-release kit nothing absolutely nothing and that was just devastating all right boxed order <laughs> I, I love the word play there search your deck for up to two item cards reveal them and put them in your hand and shuffle your deck and your end turns oh that's nasty that's actually really really bad if you're playing against a snorlax deck that is now that will probably now be empowered all the more with eerie like eerie will be like oh now i know you have two item cards i'm gonna play eerie i'm gonna get i'm get, and i'm gonna get rid of those items that is ah oh, that is nasty that is nasty oh man oh there we go this is another one we got walking wake now we just need a raging bolt we just need the regular raging bolt ex and we are pretty much done with that uh cool 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 cool, cool. all right let's go pack number 11 let's check what we can possibly get right over here we got the dunsparce we got the noctowl another iron thorns all right electabuzz rock rough sandy shocks Another Electabuzz, Unpheasant, and another Iron Thorns. Ooh, Iron Thorns likes me too much, too much, bro. Bianca's Devotion. Now, I hear, I hear Bianca's Devotion has a great full art and possibly SIR. Well, we'll have to see. Heal all damage from one of your Pokemon that has uh, 30 HP or less remaining. Ooh. Heal all damage from one of them that has 30%. Ah! It kind of feels like a... Uh, uh, Yo, it, it feels like a counter for Serena EX. Imagine you set up. You set up with Serena EX, and then this guy just plays Bianca's Devotion. Gets rid of all the effort you put. Oh, man. This is going to be so bad for Serena Stall deck. Stall deck. Oh, my God. But but the odds of people playing Serena Stall deck, it's, it's pretty low. I, I haven't seen as much. But, my, man, this counters Serena Stall deck so bad. Bad. Imagine that. Imagine. All right. Another Cypher Maniac. And we got a Macargo right over there. Okay. Last eight packs for um, Temporal Forces. And we got it. Oh, come on, Iron Thorns. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, Iron Thorns. All right. Here we go. Garvana, Great Tusk, a Pit of Cottony, and a Relicant Hollow. Hollow Relicant. All right. Dujan, Victini, Kelseyo. We got a Noctowl. We got a Ghastly and a Feraligator. I am so excited. I am so excited to get that Feraligator promo card. I just, I just love the total that line. It is my, it is, it is what, like, I've never played, I think, I think, I've never played and finished that play through of pokemon gold silver heart heart silver heart gold soul silver even crystal where i played a different starter like i maybe have a few i maybe played a few times as we started with chikorita or Cyndaquil. don't get me wrong those are pretty great um but i've always like no i want the happy crocodile i want totodile um same reason why i chose for coco yeah uh in in my playthrough of pokemon violet here we go Ah, still no hit still no hit that's right that's uh, that's fine that's fine all right four more packs there's the beldum there's the victini where's the rock rough and where's my hits there's no hits out of 34 packs i mean we did get that one pack that had double hits and that's 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 awesome that's amazing it was from an sir all the way to a full art and we just ignored the eerie as it it passes us through i don't want to play against decks that play eerie oh my gosh i i am scared i am scared for oh we got that licky tongue alt rare or illustration rare let's go that's that's a, that's a pretty funny artwork for licky tongue right over there not gonna i can't say that that's my favorite illustration of licky tongue but but sure whatever um oh and that was it that was it. That was that was that was the last pack. All right, uh, and we got one pack of Palde and Fates right over here. Um, how has your exp oh my gosh, we got the S I R Penny. Ah oh, man, I like to be honest, guys. With my with my experience of Palde and Fates, I haven't technically pulled any a single S I R. 
like a, I think I've opened quite a bit of 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 Paldean Fates. Never pulled an SIR. I've pulled two gold cards, which is the secret rare cards. Um, they have you know, but but in terms of value, they're not as valuable as SIRs. And so, yeah, kind of salty with Paldean Fates. I'm tempted to keep trying until I I I get my first SIR, and hopefully my first SIR is I'm gonna admit it right now. I hope it's a Charizard, but the likelihood of that happening, yeah, so low. But I'll probably try just one more. I'll, I'll probably dip my finger into Paldea Fates for one last time uh, in the future. Anyway, um, I think our biggest hit from all those packs that we just opened for sure has to be that Iron Crown SIR. Um, and we, we actually pulled uh, Iron Crown... No, we didn't. Did we, no, we didn't pull Iron Crown. We were we were given an Iron Crown. It was Iron Leaves that we pulled. Anyway, that that's that's pretty much it. Ooh, fifteen tiers and and a whole lot of tears. <laughs> fifteen tier tears, uh, and yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna stop now. That that's that's a wee bit little cringy. Anyway, there you go. New Battle Pass is up for the next eight weeks, and by the time you finish, um, you are guaranteed a Raging Bolt. SIR, uh, you're guaranteed five, like, what else? What else are you guaranteed? You're guaranteed a Raging Bolt SIR. You're guaranteed an Iron Crown SIR if you get the Battle Pass. And come on, guys, just get the Battle Pass. It's it's not that hard to, to earn um, uh, crystals to be able to, to buy the, the paid version, if you will, of the Battle Pass. And you don't even need to to spend on this game. Don't don't spend. I don't think there's even a way to spend real world money on this game. Uh, play it for free. Free to play, by the way. <laughs> Well, there you have it, guys. That is uh, 34 packs. I think that that is 33. 33 packs of Temporal Forces plus one Paul Day and Fates. Th those were our hits. Anyway, guys, I'm really excited to 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 play and do my dailies right now. So uh, thank you for watching. If you made it this far, have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.